you get here? <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit nicer than last time, Jimmy. Uh, what, in terms of wind or in terms of wind, temperature? Wind, rain, hypothermia. Well, you say that, there was Everything. literally snow on the way here. <laughs> yeah, but we were, in, we were in a nice warm car, so it was all right. That is true. A little bit too warm, actually. Mm. It's actually quite a nice yeah. reservoir, this, isn't it? Well, that is why we came here for a photo shoot. Wrecking. Well, yeah, well, we were trying to find out if it was nice. We found out we can go home, let's go. So welcome back to the videos. Today, we're at Tunstall Reservoir, part two of me and Jimmy's photo shoot recce. Last time we had rain and wind. Today we had snow, but luckily while we were in the car. This location we've purposefully looked for, because it should be nice, even without a sunrise. Thought of a name for our club, Dirty Shoe Club, or like um, appropriate footwear only. You seen the state of that? Your official walking shoes. They're my they? official <laughs> northern walking shoes, yeah. They're just constantly in a state of being muddy. Daisy's pair is white. <laughs> yeah. I ended up walking through shit the other day. So I was like, well, how do I deal with this? I couldn't get it off, hose them, it was just fucking stuck in there. So I just left them in the garden because I didn't know what to do with them. Now they're like, just worse, bogging, stink, horrible. <laughs> I'm like, destroyed a pair of shoes. What do I do? No, I think I'll, I'll work it out after. And wash them or something. Foot wash them. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, okay. I was like, wait, where? My, my brain got, took a moment to catch up there. <laughs> it's very early. You know those like big time YouTubers that do all of the kind of like, Sony have sent me this camera and we're gonna go and go and check it out in the wild. So you just kind of go somewhere like this and then there's all these like slow mo shots of them just kind of like. a white car. What if we lose it? <laughs> I have to admit I was not expecting this. This is Crawley side, part of the tour of the reservoir circuit. Quite a dusting of snow. We found a little um, walking track which is apparently part of the C2C and I'm gonna walk down it. Jimmy's gonna take a test shot from the road and then we'll switch places see if we can get some video as well. It's literally 20 minutes from where we live. Oh yeah, sorry about the audio again. I've got the wind fluff thing coming. Today is the day I find out if I can do efforts on my knee. The time has come for four times five minutes on the turbo. Horrible. Oh, what an angle. Four times five minutes, no knee pain. Yes. First time using those Buckmaster fans, really good. They have a remote control. A few people were putting in the comments that I should get one of those plug controllers, but these actually come with a little uh, remote control. All you have to do is flick it to the right mode and then you can control how strong they are directly from your handlebars. I'll do some more testing of those before I let you know what I think because I'd like to try some harder sessions, maybe some VO2 max or even these um, flying dies that I've been trying to avoid. Hmm. That kind of evening. Your idea. Where is it? Oh, no, my idea. We've got one ice cube. No, we've got one each, but there's half one left. Do you want the one that I just ate? <laughs> got this gin subscription from my boss Jordan and you get a bottle of gin like this every month. Different tonics and like liquors to put in the gin and then like cocktail recipes but Francis has asked for Iron Brew. This is an educational channel. I know lots of facts about Iron Brew. Inside Iron Brew there is quinine which is why it tastes a little bit like tonic water. So it goes amazing with gin and it's anti-malarial 
Not even joking. <laughs> Big enough amounts, quinine is anti-malarial and good for nighttime cramps or cramps in general. If you do hard bike rides and you have a problem with cramping, drinking tonic water or iron brew, probably tonic water is probably better for you, let's face it, will stop you from cramping as much. In fact, some GPs, if you put pressure on them, will prescribe you quinine sulfate tablets if you're having nighttime cramps. I think it's like an old thing they used to do and don't do as much anymore because it's kind of frowned upon and there's some side effects. Do you know another reason why you picked, subconsciously picked iron brew? Because you're wearing orange? Yeah. This actually matches my jumper, unlike your whole salmon thing. Oh, I should probably add a disclaimer. Don't listen to anything I say because I'm not a doctor. Not my fault if you overdose on iron brew.